Hi, soap fans, it's Allie, and today I thought I would share with you the inspiration behind my coffee house series of cold process soaps that are homemade and inspired by the young and the restless. So when I started the Genoa City Soap Project, I was mainly focusing on creating bars of soap that would represent characters on YNR, but I knew really quickly in the dreaming up of this idea that I would be able to pull inspiration from so many places on the show, not just characters, but also themes and places. So I knew 100% that this winter I wanted to make a trio of soaps that were inspired by Crimson Lights, the coffee house. <laughs> and I thought, well, I, you know, the, the the individuals, the residents of Genoa City need to have some 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 place to go to get their coffee and their hot chocolate and their teas. <laughs> so this is sort of a, a perfect match. Plus, I love bakery and beverage type scents, anything foodie. <laughs> I just go absolutely nuts over. So the very first soap I created, I wanted it to be representative of crimson lights and I wanted it to specifically be a coffee fragrance but I, I'm really picky about coffee fragrances I don't like it when they're too sweet like there's something about coffee plus syrup that can become really overwhelming really quickly so I wanted to make a very true coffee scent and here it is this is my bar which I have called espresso machine and the reason I named it espresso machine is because it seems like everybody who's ever owned the coffee house has complained about that espresso machine <laughs> ad nauseum it's sort of one of the the quirks of the coffee house and so I thought this would make sense to do an espresso machine bar uh, plus, I just imagine that this is what it would smell like when you walk into the door of Crimson Lights. It is a very true coffee fragrance. To me, it's, it's like a fresh brewed pot, but it's not bitter. I think that a lot of coffee fragrances, if they're not way too sweet, they can come off as very bitter. So this one definitely has mm, a buttery almondy nutty note and a little bit of chocolate on the back end a couple of just a, a, few, a couple sugar cubes in there it's not bitter but it's not overly sweet either this is probably one of my favorite coffee fragrances that i've smelled and i have I'm not even kidding you. I have probably six or seven different coffee fragrances that I went through trying to decide which one would be right, and they were all just not right for me. This is my personal favorite, so I thought it would be really good for the espresso machine for Crimson Lights. I, Since it's, it's coffee inspired, I wanted to make the bar brown, and I put a little bit of uh, of natural soap batter on top, uncolored, to kind of give you a steamed milk effect on there. So it looks like a little steamy cup of coffee. Now, I this is not to say that I don't enjoy sweet fragrances, <laughs> because my second soap is most definitely decadent. <laughs> you want some chocolate in your coffee? You want some? You want some chocolate and some sweets? Period. This is Wisconsin hot chocolate. Why is it a Wisconsin hot chocolate, you ask? Well, <laughs> there's a good stiff shot of rum fragrance in this bar. In fact, I think that's what comes off the top of the fragrance right away. Mm, it's there. <laughs> it is there, it is, but it's blending beautifully with the hot cocoa fragrance. And I, I thought, all right, I could do hot cocoa anybody could do hot cocoa but I wanted to make it just a little bit different so I think that rum note really kicks it up to a whole other level also there are you know there's cocoa vanilla in here there's a caramel note even mmm 
kind of, there's a little bit of whipped cream, little bit of marshmallow, and of course, a chocolate drizzle on top. I made uh, the bar, I wanted it to be very, very dark brown, uh, like a hot cocoa, and then I added this layer of white soap on top, then mixed together a little bit of mica and fractionated coconut oil to do the drizzle on top, which I was hoping would look like a, a, a hot, or like a chocolate drizzle, and I think that kind of got accomplished. This is a lovely, lovely bar. Um, it smells amazing. If you like decadent, chocolatey scents, maybe with a little bit of twist, I think that you would really like the Wisconsin hot chocolate. Now, the thing is, even though coffee fragrances on their own are very potent, as well as chocolate fragrances, the third soap that I made is by far, to me, the most distinct and my personal favorite. This is Crimson Chai, excuse me, Sweet Crimson Chai, and uh, most definitely this is the one that stands out the most to me. Just smelling it right now, it, it, it just, whew. This is good. This is really good. This is the bar that I keep coming back to. I've got this in my shower right now. Um, I wanted to do a chai tea fragrance. I am a fan of chai tree. I, chai tea. Chai, chai tea. <laughs> uh, I drink chai tea every day, but I will say this is not your tea, chai tea bag type of fragrance. This is much more coffee house. This has a just wonderful... Oh, background of vanilla in it and just it's it's creamy it's got a creamy vanilla note in addition to the nutmeg and the cinnamon that just oh it just works if you're a fan of vanilla and I'm picky also about my vanillas because I don't want a buttercream I, 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 I like I like a light vanilla I think this is a nice twist on a vanilla because you also get the spice in there I named it sweet crimson chai uh, because, well, for one thing, and I'm so mad at myself that I didn't get this on camera, but I did put a little bit of red coloring into the bar. I wanted the bar to have just the tiniest little crimson hue to it, uh, in addition to this creamy tan. And of course, I also put uh, some white soap batter throughout the bar as well as right on top. So. Oh, this is the this is the one. The, the second I cut this, I was in love. And it's weird because this particular fragrance had amazing reviews from everyone online. Uh, and I bought it, and the second I opened up the bottle, I wasn't overly impressed. I, I don't know. I don't know why. It just didn't jump out at me. And I mean, I am telling you, the second I soaked it and started cutting the loaf, I was like, wow in love, mind blown. This is definitely one of my favorites, but I like them all, I really do. I think the coffee's kind of nice for a, a, a morning jolt. <laughs> I find chocolate to be good at any time of day, and this chai tea is just mind blowing. <laughs> so these are my three coffee house soaps, and I'm kind of excited because I really think that I'm just taking so much inspiration from the young and the restless i'm able to combine that combine these two hobbies and i really think that i can use this umbrella of the coffee house collection to do some more stuff over the summer too maybe this can house any um types of ideas that i have that are related to food and beverage specifically because even in the summer i can see myself doing some other kinds of maybe fruity inspired uh drink soaps <laughs> so i'm really jazzed about these three i'm jazzed about uh, the potential of this for the future. I think you guys would really love them. Uh, so I hope you go to the website at GenoaCitySoap.com for more info. And of course that you subscribe to Genoa City Soap here on YouTube if you want to see more and stay in touch. I love hearing from you guys too. So don't be shy. Feel free to leave me your comments and I will see you all next time.